Okie dokie. All right. He's going to help me out with the rat a little bit here. All right, so here we go. Three, two, uh, wait, music. The time to switch to Nightbot. Nightbot doesn't have quite all the features. Streamlabs does. But um, yeah. I, I have used Nightbot in the past for its, its jukebox, which is pretty good. All right, here goes, guys. Let's do this. Let me take one more swig of water before we go. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Come on! Oh, no. I'm not what dead. Happened? I'm not dead. It's ridiculous. I can't see the fucking terrain at all. That's like this. That seems a little. That's sketchy as hell. Yeah. All right, that's my first and last hit. We're never hitting anything again. We're gonna do this. Four clicks. Never give up. Trust your instincts. Three point five. Oh, I can actually see you in third person. That thing's big. <laughs> it ain't small. It's e not small. Ow. If you follow right at me, uh, you'll see there are a couple of wavy-like ravines. You can, should be able to go off to the left of those and kind of miss them a little bit. Okay. I repositioned so that I'm kind of floating toward the gap between all the yes. E Roger. Oh, that's what the MTS is. That's what you were talking about. Yeah, the monster tech is oh, God, so crazy. Dream setup, honestly. 1.7 clicks. Those little ravines, you can see how like that little. So go left, you say? Thing. A little bit. Yeah, like you. I can't quite see where you are, but yeah, you should be off so that where if you would have been following me my my original trajectory, you would have flown through that off to you. That's gotcha. all right there. Okay, cool. No, we're okay. We're okay. So now I'm, so I'm I'm gonna straighten up and go sh straight toward the package now. Okay. This path will clear. Uh, from. Up here, yes. Cool. <laughs> but I also can't see the big rocks. Yeah, well, that's okay. Big rocks aren't really a concern as much as the terrain and canyons. Canyons are the bad concern. Okay, I am 1.1 clicks. So pick up some taste. I can see your shadow. This is so cool. It's like right in front of me. Coming up on some spots, but it's not really a whole lot we could do because it's everywhere. everywhere. Okay. So just keep on my tail and we'll see what we can do. Roger. I get some air here. Ooh, that was unexpected. Jeez. Okay, we're okay. Let's slow down a little bit. up so I can gain some altitude. Yep. I guess I can just straight up. Don't get too much altitude. It was, it was nice being able to see yeah. you in third person. <laughs> well, I got to the, I was oh, I about 500. And I just jumped up to nine. Roger.
Looks like it might be good to go right here around those big hills. I'm not sure. What do you think? Um, yeah. And also avoid the canyons in front of them, which is good. Okay, I'm right. pretty much underneath you right now, so you might want to get a little bit of speed here. can't see the package because if you come around the, the right side of that mountain you can line up straight to the package and just kind of miss a bunch of ravines off to the right there I'll go over it yeah go it. go where you think I should go mountain or you can hit it and come off into a real big jump yeah <laughs> i chose the latter not intentionally <laughs> <laughs> all right this is gonna get tricky here tricky 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 do, 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 do. Sorry. don't apologize Actually, higher than you right now. <laughs> Jeez. All right, I'm coming back. You're five clicks out now. You could definitely like pick a waypoint and slow down. If you kind of keep your nose off to the. Uh to the right there, or to the left, I'm sorry. You should be able to pull uh, right out of that ravine and head toward me. Yep. Looks like I'm pretty clear. Just kind of high sand dunes now. Yeah, this dunes from beyond that point, you'll see some ravines off to your right, but it's basically just uh, craters and dunes. Roger. From what I see. Okay. And I am 14 out from package. God. Okay. And you did stuff in Unox and nothing, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. I think I'm good for now. Really poor planning on my part there, and I got a little unlucky. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, that how are you liking like that Toby uh, now, Chromtech, a couple hours in? Did you get it all figured out? God, Lothamer, what were you saying? Uh, it looks like from... From what I'm seeing right here, from where back, where I'm at, a little bit behind to the package, it's just like rock yes, debris, yeah. dodging, no craters or mountains. That's right, yep. That's a well-known part of the track. It's a pain in the ass. Hell yeah, Chromtech. Yeah, obviously, I live by the Toby. It's incredible. Okay. Which reminds me, I didn't put Toby Ghost on. I should. Ghost. People could see my eyeballs. You don't need to switch out Nox yet, right? No. Okay. I'll just I'll get here and I'll line up to the next area while you go in. Yep. Actually, if you could, before you do that, uh, would you mind scanning and tell me how much health percentage I have left? Although you're not going to be able to see me until I get close. So I guess you could do it while I'm in there. Right. I am three clicks out. Very close.
Thanks for the follow, Jen. Or Gen. It's pronounced. Ooh. Okay. Okay, I am entering now. It says you're at 90, 98.37 health. That's pretty good. I'll take that. Considering how bad some of those crashes look, that's not that bad. All right. And the next package is 385 clicks out. Okay. <sighs> Although, the engine is flaming. Oh, that's my old one. God. <laughs> Alright, we're up and running. Let's go. Take it a little more careful in this rock hell this time. Maybe. <laughs> Usually I'm not really gonna dip below like a hundred. If a hundred is my slowest. So I'll just I'll lock to one one fifty until unless I need to adjust. Okay. And then I'll I'll like I said I'll I'll swerve and move my nose to try to guide you to avoid big obstacles. Roger. Two clicks. Two clicks. Pick up speed. Except for like one or two hills or big rocks, it still seems like it's pretty okay, okay for big boy stuff. Good. Yeah, the biggest challenge right here is it's just a giant rock field right now, so I have to just kind of go slow to not end up a part of a rock. That's what I did yeah, last this time. This is called the Balboa Stretch. And if it's not, it should be. 
Rocky Balboa stretch. <sighs> All right. Okay. All right, cleared up a bit here. So I'm not gonna let my guard down, but safer than it was. Anime speed lines, wee doggy, <laughs> yeehaw! You can't have your beast without anime speed lines. Come on. See that uh, rock coming up on your uh, right there? Yes. As soon as you pass that, uh, I, I adjusted uh, I adjusted right a little bit to get us on a more straight ahead heading. Okay. So you should be able to see my adjustment. trying to, you know, ju judge by my view compared to your view compared to lag of the stream view. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly clear. No, you're doing pretty good. Okay, we got another rocky field, it looks like. I wonder how much of this I can skip mm. if I go right. You come down a little bit in altitude. I've been drifted a little higher than I wanted to be. Yeah, it looks a little clearer to the right. That's not so bad over here. Okay. I'm 6k away. Oops. Now we got canyons. How did I end up here? Oh, why is my engine flaming? I don't know. See how bad it is, if it's actually affecting my speed or not. Yeah. So, let's trade out. So, where, wherever you are, just touch down, I'll catch up to you. I am like an oasis in the desert. That's right. <laughs> My savior. Turn on, please. There we go. Clear.
All right, we're 20 minutes in. We're making good progress. What's our distance? Uh, I would have to gain altitude to check that. That's all good. Over 300 clicks. That's what we know for sure. Got a while to go. Yeah. Getting a little rockier. Try to hit this jump. I have no hands free for a hydrate right now, but if I get a big enough jump, I tend to s stuff them in there. Like now. Thanks for the hydrate. Nice. Going max speed. Max speed, we can cover one kilometer every five seconds. Wow. That's like real fast. It's pretty fast. This stretch is about 360 kilometers. So I'll multiply that by five, and that's our seconds if I'm going max speed. Yeah, we're at almost 300 even. So about 1,500 seconds. So theoretical best time is around 40 minutes or so. I am directly below you. I think I'm passing you. Yeah, I had to. Re I slowed down, readjust so I could check distance. Yep. So now I'll get back down and get some distance. You're good. I mean, I, I know the general heading. It's not really super important until we get close, but. Yeah. I saw you on radar for half a second. Yep. <laughs> yeah, look, there you are. And rocks. It was a rock lobster. Yeah. A lob rockster. Rob rockster. If you're talking about Sparano Pixel coming up here and holding the water to my lips, that sounds like a great way to ruin all of my gear. <laughs> What ends up going up my nose? No fault of yours, it's just an awkward situation, that's all. Do it with milk? Why? <laughs> so milk can come out of my nose? <laughs> Ugh, rough here. Coming up on a crater. Okay, right. how big? Well, obviously big enough that you can see it from a click up, so. Yeah, the storm's clearing, nice. Okay, let's see how we handle this. There we go. that you could probably stay slightly to the left of. Hmm. Well, I'm to the right of you. Oh, fuck. I see what you mean. <laughs> yeah. It looked like the better way to approach that oh. is to kind of curve off to the, the left. Yeah, definitely. And it's coming straight out of that. If you come straight out of that toward me, 
kind of stay a little bit right of my trajectory because there's craters on the left. Okay. It's like a pretty decent ramp here I could hit. Yeah, bird's eye view. Kaka. Majestic as beep. Yeah, majestical beep. Coming up pretty close, so go ahead and get some distance. Yeah, survival warning is probably like, at most, like 30 minutes. Or at least, I would say. It's it's not so bad. I'll be through these hot zones faster than it's a problem. My thirst should be good. Oxygen should be good. Long enough for a bike race. If I were in a car, that'd be a completely different story. But, because that'd be a five hour trip. For a bike, it's not that bad. ETV, oh. You have an interesting idea of fun, Chromtech. <laughs> Ugh. I'm 700 meters away. Hover bike is about as fun as ground racing gets for me. I mean, the cyclone drifting in the stock cyclone is pretty close, though. That's my that's my second favorite for sure. Anything that has to do with the PTV is probably my least favorite, or the Cyclone RC. Although the uh, Garage Tour is not bad. That's probably the best Cyclone RC track. This is dangerous how fast I'm going. I should probably like cool it a bit. It's getting pretty thick down here. Danger! Danger! She's thick! Danger, thick, danger, thick. 
We are approaching critical thickness down here. We're at 30 minutes. What's our distance? I don't know. Cool. <laughs> You should be able to see it soon. I mean, uh, we're gonna be... two, two, about 2.15. Okay, yeah. You're going to be able to see it uh, over the curvature of the moon soon. That was dangerous. That's right, Osash. No, it's best done on a dirt bike. <laughs> 10 meters per second on a dirt bike. And you get extra points for doing sweet tricks on every jump. Coming up on, if you'll be able to see it, I'm passing over it now. You got a, um, a crater that's off to my, over my right wing. And then, so if you hug that one to the left, there'll be another one just after it. You'll be able to hug hug its right. Okay. So, so the, we'll go the left, left the then right. Crater. Right. All right. It's a steep wall. Okay. I'm veering a bit to the left. Let's see. If I see, I think I see that. Oh God. Oh fuck. Okay, I've just passed the one crater, and I'm gonna go to the right of the other one. Yeah, these sand dudes can be really, really scary. Yo, Chromtech. Thank you for the gift sub to Osash. Osash, welcome to the pit crew. Thank you so much. For giving a gift to this awesome community. Really appreciate it. Yarp. Osash, XGR co-founder. Bringer of all things good in the racing scene. Made a lot of this possible. Promtech is the goat for sure. Thank you guys. Really, really appreciate your support. Yeah, this is like the most dangerous part of the track. This is so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Sash, thanks for the Seinfeld. <laughs> I think the proc's gonna happen automatically. It's just on a weird delay right now, so get ready. Like, I, I gotta reprogram that to actually work as expected. I think it's an automatic proc. We'll see. Oh, maybe not. Maybe yeah, I'm wrong. Maybe I did fix it. Or it's gonna come up right... Now. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're in the clear. Thank you, Osash. Thank you for the 400 bit, uh, 300 bits. Yeah, down in the about section, I have a bunch of various uh, alerts that can happen depending on how many bits are donated. It's a good time. Keeps things lively around here. <laughs> a lot of them also have a random chance of being a shiny. Give you something, a little, a little something special. And this is rough. I hate this place. How are you doing? What am I looking at here? Uh, pretty much right where I'm heading is going to take you down into a ravine. Okay. Do I and not I, want to do that or is it? Yeah, there's no really way about it. The way I went is kind of the easiest way. Okay. Is you'll jump into it. You'll see like a, like a fork to stay slightly to the left of that fork and you should be able to hit that other wall and ramp out of it. 
Uh, yeah, the bot's acting up today, so the double dog macro is not working. All right, so we're going in. We're staying left of the fork. Here we go. Yeah, we just uh, stay right. Just hug that left side of that fork, and you should be able to hit that wall and ramp out of it. All right, here we go. I trust. I trust. Ooh. Oh yeah. Okay. I think we're good. Now we're between canyons here up on this plateau. Right. Ooh, I got a little too low for myself. I gotta watch my. Wow. Yeah, we don't need that. I would be in trouble. <laughs> I have no. I would just have to basically get lucky at this point if you died. He's he's doing some ad hoc surface scanning, Gray. It says Legacy Fleet's own Lothamer. Hold putting in hours for me. This crater that I'm flying over now is a very similar thing. You'll just drop down into the canyon on my heading and just follow it straight and you'll be should be able to ramp out of it. I'm gonna try to ramp it out of a more gradual point. Let's see, because I have to slow down a lot to hit this. Well here we go. Oh yeah! Actually got some serious air on that one. Yeah, Streamlabs probably has another outage today. Okay, I'm right under you, Lothmer, but I'm gonna turn toward where you're okay, pointing. Here. Yep, I'm gonna we're gonna come cutting out a little bit out of our way to miss a giant mountain. Sounds good. Just kinda Oh, lots of stuff. Oh god. We're good, I'm good. Not so bad. And you drop wow. down into this ravine. Okay, yeah, that's that's bad. The, <laughs> I'm definitely it, going right? into the ravine. Or following it left. Okay, so go. Okay, I I'm in the one to your right. I wasn't quite under you, so could use some intel over here. Trying to pop out. I'm on your port side, about to pass you right now. Or on your starboard side, sorry. Okay. Wait, I'll let you pass me real quick. Oh, there you are. Okay, I lost you for a second. I have to slow down to get out of here. It's pretty rough. Okay, big mountain coming up. Yep, and I'm way too low for this. Holy oh, back. I'm gonna try going. Oh god, I'm gonna try going right. Yeah. Familiar mountain, Euro Trucker. <laughs> Hopefully, in a good way. Or are there are there some C2 remains on that mountain? It's the the big mountain in front of you. Yeah, I'm, well, I'm you past it now. To... I'm on the right of it. Well, oh, I see. There's another right. one. Yeah. There's, there's another one coming yep. up. Uh, just basically hug the left side of that mountain around it. Okay. Like hug the foot of that mountain. I'm gonna try, but there's a lot of like really aggressive foothills down here. Oh, that was unoptimal. Um, yeah. So I'm hugging it, and what's gonna happen after then? Uh, pretty much what it looks like is if you let me you can okay yeah straight the way you are now yeah this isn't so bad okay get into big dunes now yeah it's gonna be a lot of big dunes coming up oof yeah this is where things get Try really to... touchy and this is where All I've right. died the most between this and the end so you got to be careful and really plan correctly here okay so you're going right I'm gonna try to get back underneath you. So. Okay. Ooh, these are some aggressive hills. Okay, I might have to gradually meet up with you at this point. Oh. Is it mostly flat underneath you over there? For the most, yeah. If you follow the more or less that way that, way that I took. It would be keep you fairly flat. Yes. All right, here I come. And I see from my bird's eye view, there's a mountain range off to my right. Yes. We're gonna try to stay to the left of that as best as we can. It looks like a jaggedy, rocky hellscape. There's a yes. couple nice little ones you might be able to 
Get some air off them. <laughs> We're gonna try getting one off this hill here and avoiding most of this. Here we go. Uh, got a little bit of distance. Not as much as I would have wanted, though. Oh, this is bad. Oh, man, I'm slowing down. Yeah, I'm, slow, I'm slowed down to a, I'm slowed down to 160. Yeah, these rocks are slowed some down. of the worst I've ever seen. These are huge. All right. Got a big old clump that stretches across, and there's no real easy way through. You can follow kind of off to the left here, and then hook back in at the end of it. But just bad all good. the way around, huh? Okay. Yeah. Damage, I'm good. Yeah, this is this is gonna be. Oh man. Oh, this sucks. <laughs> I hate this place. Wow. Jeez Louise. All right. Uh, get me out of here. Just gonna have to suffer through it. Take it slow. Why does it seem like my cruise control's on? It is on! Fuck! Oh no. <laughs> we're alive, we're alive. Okay, that, uh, that was problematic. I think we're still in pretty good shape though. slow. I don't know if I should speed up or not. No. I'm doing all right. You could sit still. I'm six clicks away from you now. Okay. Like I am crawling like 50 meters per second here. Gotcha. Is it? How how far away are we? Because I was like, we were uh, like 50 100. clicks. 100. Okay. Yeah. Right after this is where I died on my farthest run. So we're getting down to the nitty gritty now. And we're making pretty good time. Yeah, I'm trying to I mean, if I, if I get out of this and it gets bit. better, I can make sub hour. But we really need to turn. Oh, fuck off. What in the. What in tarnation? Pledge yeah. yourself. Alright, we're good. Holy shit. No, we're not. What in the fuck? Bro! You gotta be Bruh. kidding me! Alright. No problem. Shadows are growing long. All right, I'm gonna. I'm going 23. Okay, that's probably still faster, but we'll see. Those mountain from those mountain ranges that are in front of you, the two you got the big one and the little one off to the left there. Yeah, go between uh, you them. You should be able to follow. Right, yeah, you should be able to go between them and then cut through them toward me. And it seems like it clears up a little bit if you, when you make that fork between the mountains, uh. come at me. You'll see some ravines, and if you stay to on top of the middle of the ravines, it looks like we can open up into something pretty decent. Okay. So stay between the ravines, basically right underneath you? Right, yeah. Okay, I see that. Yep, good. All right, here we come. I am... Oh, fuck! Jesus, that rock came out of nowhere. Okay, good. Oh, we're okay, we're okay. No exploding. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Wonder how damaged my retros are. This could be dangerous. Hit this hillside that I'm flying over now. You might be able to get clear some of the bad rock stuff. Maybe, but I'm afraid of the speed I'd have to like earn to to be able to get a good jump. Right. I'd I'd need a pretty straight path without any rocks in it, and that's the scary part right now. If I if I misjudge, I'm dead. 
But this looks actually like a pretty clear hillside, so we'll try from here. Here we go. Oh yeah, not bad. Um, oh, I'm gonna take to your right here on this flat, and then I'm gonna okay. dive left into the ravine, I think. Go ahead and pick a good path for me. I'm passing you now on your right. Okay. I mean, it's, the as far as ravines and mountains are concerned, we're in the clear for now, but it's rocks everywhere. Yeah, I see that. All right, first person mode. All range mode. Go ahead and give me a pointer at this point. I just need to know what direction to go in. Yep. little uh, opening into a uh, hillside that you can get a little bit of air off of. That'd be great. Up. Take me to it. Okay, here's the hill, I think. Yeah. And that should drop you into a crater, but it looks like the exit of the crater is pretty decent as well to get a little bit of air off of. Okay. Sucks. And then beyond that, it's just, it's, it's starting to loosen up with the rocks, but it's still just a bunch of rocks. This is okay. about where I died last time, so. I know to respect what's here. What's our distance to the facility? 79. Right. Yeah, this is exactly where I died last time. Can't get confident here. We gotta just take it easy. The combination of like intermediate hills here plus the big rocks, sometimes you won't see them cresting a hill and it'll just kill you. Heading is leading us straight toward a hill, so we might want to uh, gear right a little bit. Going right. And it's getting dark. Glad it's almost over. Can't complain about the challenge, that's for sure. It's ramping up as we get closer to the finish here with lack of visibility, lack of sunlight, horrid rocks. Oh my. But you know what? Still better than a car. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Beats walking. Never give up! Trust your instincts! Oh, please. Please! Can't take a tiny jump like that at 50 meters per second. I got turned around. Oh, things are really bad. 
The sun's reflecting off the sand in my eyes. So you know you're about eight clicks from me right now. Trying my best to get closer, but this is a nightmare. Yeah, I get it. Like I'm having trouble seeing the <laughs> the environment at this point too. Yeah. I mean, if it gets too bad, I might have Lothamer be headlights for me, but um, I think we could. We'll be all right. I'm just going to take it pretty slow here. Well, if you can make it to where I'm at, it looks like it's starting to open up pretty decent. That would be great. As far as like ravines and craters and stuff, it's finally it's to the point where I I can't tell much difference between the uh, environment now. Yeah. Okay. All right, we're gonna try night vision and headlights here. Here we go. Right, makes it a little better. Looks like it's cleared up a little bit. Oh, man. That was scary. What's your distance from the facility? Uh, 49. All right. Final stretch. Let's not screw it up. Still have to respect this train. If I could even get halfway decent speed here, I should be able to get sub one hour. But visibility is still very, very tight. It looks like my engine's sparking a little bit. Oof, that's dangerous. Oh, there's some ravines. Yeah, okay.
This is brutal. Okay, I'm uh, 2.7 clicks out. Go ahead and get some distance. You know, Jet Heller warned me about these mountains, and I forget what he said. I should have put that to memory a little better. I think we're just going to stay right, though. It looks pretty flat over here. Yeah, like I, like I said, I can't see much, but I am at least trying to keep my heading to what looks like it's not taking you through crazy town. Okay. But I can't see very well. My engine is steadily getting worse, so i got to take it slow here. Although, honestly, sometimes I think slow is worse for the engine. In this desync, like I hit the ground at, at more of a vertical speed, and I, I think the server is not detecting the hover as stopping it, and it just is basically belly hitting every single time. So my engine's just slowly falling apart, and these hills are so brutal with this. It's nothing but verticals. I'll, I will fucking walk the rest of the way. I do not give a shit. What is our distance, by the way? 26. Yeah. Think I won't walk 26 clicks? You out of your mind. This is brutal. Jeez. I don't even think I can actually cross this mountain, it's too steep, but I'm gonna try. Might be okay, actually. Stay left. How did I end up back here? I, oh man, that was deceptive from, from an aerial view. These didn't look like canyons. Right. Oh. Jeez.
More canyons. Oh boy. Distance? Uh, 16. I'm almost directly under you. Contact Anvil Valkyrie. Looks like at the facility, two of them. Toasters? Um, I don't know. Well, this could get ugly. Yeah, it looks like they're toasters. I'll leave it in your capable hands. Good luck. They threw a lot of missiles at you just now. Yo, Kestrel! Oh my god, this is scary. <laughs> oh no! I want to be down on the ground! Okay. Oh dear. Kestrel, thank you for the three month sub. Much appreciated. Welcome back to the pit crew. I'm trying to go faster, but I'm finally the closest I've ever been to finishing the Daymar rally. And there's toasters here. Yeah. Never give up! Trust your instincts! Hopefully they will not see me. Uh, I don't know where the facility is exactly, Lothmer. Okay. Uh, let's see what I can do. Wait, maybe that's it there. I think I might have eyes on, but sneaking in under this Valkyrie is you can, very... You can, see, you can see my laser fire. Uh. Do this, we'll dummy fire down. Actually, could you just come in and be a distraction for this one guy that's here? Yeah, okay, I'm here. Hopefully nothing will target me. I, th I think I'm in... Is there an armistice zone here? No. I don't know. Okay, I'm just getting off the ship as soon as possible. Alright. Boots on ground. 
We're gonna do it, guys. We finally did it. Oh. One oh six thirty nine is the new world record on SCRGG for Damar Rally. My first personal best and my first completion. We finally got there. Oh, now I'm gonna see if I could find a uh, Artemis.